Hi, this is problem 15 from the AMC 10A. Consider the set of all fractions x over y where x and y are relatively prime positive integers. How many of these fractions have the property that if both the numerator and the denominator are increased by 1, the value of the fraction is increased by 10%? Now in this problem, the statement relatively prime just means that the x and the y do not share a common factor. And we'll, we'll see how that comes into play uh, later in the problem. So uh, let's try to reduce this problem into mathematical terms. So we have a fraction x over y such that if we increase the numerator by 1 and the denominator by 1, we're left with a fraction that is 10% larger. So I write that as a multiple of 1.1 times the original fraction. And we're trying to solve for x and y uh, in the set of integers. So uh, let's uh, replace our 1.1 with an equivalent integer expression, 11 over 10, x over y. And again, we're trying to solve for x and y in the elements of, uh, looks like, positive integers. So it uh, looks like we have a set of integer expressions on the left and the right. We can do the cross multiplication in the usual fashion. We end up with uh, 10y times x plus 1 equals 11x y plus 1 and it looks like we have three factors on the left three factors on the right uh, this would be difficult to apply the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so uh, let's try to reduce this further let's multiply this out uh, xy plus 10y let's uh, bring everything to the left side and multiply it by negative 1 and that'll give us ten y is equal to zero. So this you should recognize as our most common uh, integer equation form in the AMC. And our method for solution is to identify the coefficients of the x and y, eleven minus ten, multiply them together, add them to both sides. And now the left side can be factored. And at this point, I, I usually try to get rid of any unnecessary negative signs. So it looks like we can multiply both sides by negative 1. And that gives us OK, so that's a little easier on the brain. And now our solution calls for us to uh, reduce 110 into all possible factor pairs. 2 times 55, 5 times 22, 10 times 11. And we may have to consider factors that are the reverse, 110 times 1, 55 times 2, and so on. Um, we have a negative sign here, so we may have to consider negative signs, so minus 1 times minus 110 and so forth. But it looks like one of these factors is always positive, so we don't have to consider the negative uh, factor versions of 110. And it also appears that uh, since x and y are both positive integers, that the left factor will always be smaller than the right factor. And so it looks like we have the order of the factors correct, the smaller factor to the left, the larger factor to the right. So now it just remains to find out uh, how uh, we can solve for, for the x and y values for every possible combination of factor pairs on the right. So uh, let's take a look at the first factor pair, 1 times 110. So that would be 1 is equal to 10 minus x, so x is equal to 9. 110 is equal to y plus 11, so y is equal to 99. And likewise, uh, for this one, we find that xy is equal to 844. Uh, this one, xy is equal to 511. And this last one, OK, I see we can't really make a 10 with a 10 minus x, so this is not a valid solution. So it looks like we have three potential solutions. And now we have to see if they satisfy the condition that x and y are relatively prime. So it looks like uh, 9 and 9 share a common factor, so that's not a valid solution. 8 and 44 share a common factor. That's not a valid solution. 
5 and 11 are relatively primed. That is a valid solution. It looks like the only valid solution. So it appears as though there's only one set of numbers that satisfy the uh, problem statement, and that is answer B.